Hello, what's up, y'all? It's Poppin' with Cracking It's Dude, about to react to this ABBA and Preach vid. That coming for Fresh and Fit once again. It's titled Fresh and Fit and More Red Pillars Are Quitting YouTube. All right, well, let's hear what they have to say. <laughs> they are not letting these men rest. Let's watch. <laughs> again! Again! So, remember I told you Red Pill died? You said that. Flashback. We are better than you, Nick. Period. The only thing you guys got on us is that you guys been on longer. But I guarantee you, next year, this time, we're going to lap you, mother... Because you know what? Thanks. Nobody works harder than us! Nope. Period! Six months later. And then, guys, just so you know, we're probably going to stop live streaming on YouTube here pretty soon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, guys, what's going to end up happening is this. We're going to be streaming only on Rumble and on Twitch, uh, probably starting after this week. Yeah. So, just get ready. Right. We're going to have to First move day. the main platform to Twitch and to Rumble. Oh, they're not making money on YouTube. <laughs> Later. For a man who hates black women so much, every time you get emotional, you appropriate their behavior. We are better than you. Eh? Can I tell you quit the live stream on YouTube? They won't last on Twitch, probably last a couple of months and they'll be banned from there, so they won't give you a rumble. And now basically the biggest channel of the whole Red Pill space is going to pretty much kill its own growth. Well, its growth has pretty much been dead. They haven't been getting subscribers, nothing. So they have to quit because there's like no benefit to it anymore. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, we're just now seeing that, aside from these guys, the Donovan Sharp dude and a bunch of other people, cool. a lot of people are just kind of quitting this whole thing. So do you think the phase is now officially, either if not over, but like pretty much proper, we're preparing for the funeral? No, it's going to be a uh, change into something else. <laughs> yeah. But I think in a couple of, I don't know, I don't know time what's up, but I think in a couple of years it's going to be something else. As uh, the pickup artist morphs into that, and that's going to morph into something else. It's just going to take a couple of years of nonsense and then it's something else is going to research sure sure i would agree a different form of a men's movement the bigger virus thing when it died there was nothing for years i'm talking about eight nine ten plus yes. years. i remember when it died no, I don't. this one's going to be similar there's going to be a whole yes. winter and then there's something iterative who knows the other iteration might be a good one i mean they can't grow no i mean look at andrew tate he went from talking about the whole men's activist stuff to now just doing a bunch of race bait stuff on twitter just to get shock value to get notary mm -hmm. like he's just trying to squeeze the last bit of juice before he kind of fades into relevance that's what myron is doing as well yeah that's my, my whole point yeah. now, everyone's just squeezing the orange dry before yeah. they gotta yeah. quit but i promise right. you two three years from now andrew tate's gonna be an irrelevant name two three years from now this whole fresh fish stuff gonna be dead and that, when I say dead, does not mean that they're no longer going to be around. They're just, their reach is going to just keep, it's already plummeted. It's going to keep plummeting. What I predicted, which was these people don't know how to strategize. They don't know how to make good messaging. They don't know how to actually package any of their stuff. All these people are going to fade to irrelevance. I mean, we'll be there at the funeral. That's going to not grief. That's you. That's you. Two-stepping. But I'm not doing it for me. <sighs> yes, you are. I'm doing it for them. But <laughs> ain't that true? Don't y'all want to see me two step up? That note, we're organizing a boat party. <laughs> we told y'all. I mean, I'm just saying, it ain't like we didn't predict all this shit. You're a wizard, Adam. Oh, weren't they supposed to lap us? But I guarantee you, next year, this time, we're gonna lap you, motherfuckers. Yeah. Nick, you're not even in the race no more. Ooh. Stupid. Stupid. That's why you can't cool. say stuff like that. You have always been on the winning side. You should be proud of yourself. You have chosen the right horse. <laughs> My friend. Uh, two years later, we are still here standing. Where are they? So today, we are going to drink. Well, cheers to you for being the kind of person who makes the right decision. What does that taste like? Monetization. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> the you know they are lost. <laughs> Before I get started here, um, guys, um, I think that I've, I've sort of I've sort of come to a decision. It's been pretty clear. Uh, it's very it's been it's been fairly clear uh, for a while that oh, it's just this just isn't Stop profitable for thing. me anymore. Oh. Wait, some of you guys Ooh. might not know who this irrelevant man is. <laughs> My apologies. I just ran into this assuming you guys were all up to date on all things in the APU. Okay, uh, but the Advent Preach Cinematic Universe. This guy is um, the weirdo who basically hangs on the coattails of Fresh and Fit, uh, and he pretended to be from. Um, 
Kim Samuel's best friend after he passed away, so he could try to siphon in as many views as possible. And he's what? come out of his little uh, little mold hill, and he's uh, poked out his head out into the sunlight and made an announcement. Oh, I heard about that. To his uh, ten followers, yes. and somehow it made it to other platforms where yes. people are like, "Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha!" So, go to the bathroom. All right. Oh, I reacted to this, I think. Maybe not this particular video, but he was doing weird shit with his wife, right? I told you I don't commit to women who take their phones into the bathroom. I just forgot this one time, okay? Okay. So, are we good then? Yep, I called you an Uber. This is so petty. Call it what you want, but this is how I move, and you've known this from the start. Ladies, don't pretend you've never texted an ex in the bathroom. Or swipe for sausage on Tinder while in the shower. Those guys are leech. So bad Back in the day, I remember him because he, uh, when we were having our little spat with Fresh and Fit, he was the one who put out pictures of a woman claiming it was Priest's wife and it wasn't, and then set the whole doxing campaign after her. Okay, He's been exposed dozens of times as a scammer, as a career criminal. He's also the guy from the video where he let an 18-year-old play him and basically fuck with him for years while he was 35 years old. It was one of the most pathetic displays ever. Remember that one? I started paralegal school when I was 31 years old, and there's this uh, there's this hot, hot 19-year-old in my class. We took a shine to each other immediately, right? It was a great relationship. We spent every day together, blah, 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 blah. She was 19 years old who had a six-year-old, which means what class? She had her child at 13. The baby daddy was in prison at the time we were dating. She left her account open on my computer on Facebook. I scrolled through, saw all kinds of stuff, drove to her place. I said, I want you to be honest with me. Have you cheated on me? I want her to lie to me. And I, I want her to lie to me so I can just keep up the delusion. She said, honestly, yes. That is the worst, the worst emotional pain I've ever felt in my life. Oh, to this day, I never will. Dude, I dude, I went to her bathroom, I puked, ripped off the necklace. This story gets so much worse. How old were you? I was 31. Was 31 years of age, you got played by a 19-year-old. She continued cheating on me, right? So I'm always trying to catch her. I lost my job. I lost the place that I was at. I ended up having to live with a couple of her, a couple of her drug addict friends in a quasi crack house. And I kept, I, I kept trying to get a back. Crack house. Have I heard this story before? Baby daddy gets out of prison. Okay. Baby daddy gets out of prison. I called her up on September 15th. I said, you know what? I can't do it. I think you still, I think you still love Ben. I can't do it anymore. Dude, she cried her eyes out. Hung up the phone. I stayed up all night long. I couldn't sleep. So I called her up. I called her up the next day. I was like, hey, um, you know, meet me at this meet me at this gas station. Then I called up my brother and I borrowed eight hundred dollars. Oh my he god. I went to the jewelry store. I bought her a ring, proposed to her. What during are... the summer? During the summer, she lost an exorbitant and she was already a small girl. Yeah. She lost an exorbitant amount of weight. I found out that she was shooting heroin all summer long. Heroin. <laughs> He's also the guy from the proposal video. You wouldn't be able to waterboard that out of me. Why would you tell people that story? That is embarrassing, bro. You know, like I said, you, you, I, I bring out the best in you, um, but uh, you make me happy, you really do. Um, I was happy before you, um, and if you and I decide to part ways for whatever reason, I'll be happy without you. You okay? I thought I did everything. Huh? Hey, look at me. I marry me, baby. I pronounce us me and me for eternity. You wasn't about to kiss yourself. Oh, oh I, I kiss myself every night. How can I not? You ever catch a mirror and catch a reflection? When you a red pill man, you gotta love it. And so, by the power vested in me, I pronounce us man and wife. Here, keys. Four. That is so cringy, bro. You want a ring? This can't be real. There. <laughs> yeah, I can't you. <laughs> Put it on, stupid. <laughs> that, that, <indeed. laughs> Put it on, stupid. <laughs> can, you, can you imagine? Kobe. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Sorry, sorry. My apologies. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Kobe. That's what that's what his wedding was essentially. Can you imagine just a motherfucker being like, oh, you never propose. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it was like, though. If you like it, you should have put a ring on it. <laughs> Damn, keep going with this. Let's listen to what he has to say. I think that I've, I've sort of, oh, I've sort of come to a decision um, of the whole um, uh, uh, 
of the whole, um, this whole Donovan Sharp, um, thing. This whole Donovan Sharp thing. So it's a thing. Yeah, it's a persona. He's, he's, yeah, he's yeah, kind yeah, of yeah. implicitly implied, like, you know this character that I'm cosplaying, this, uh, Alpha oh, that's male who talks to his woman like she's an abused dog. Yeah, those whole guy who can tell you how to get women. The cosplay. Yeah. Whatever the case may be. Um, whatever. <laughs> so, um, number one, Donovan Sharp's not going away. I'm not going to. I'm not going to quit. I'm not going to do any of that stuff. But um, uh, it's very. It's been. It's been fairly clear uh, for a while that it's just. This just isn't profitable for me anymore. Um, I'm just not, I mean, not, I mean, I don't, I don't know, I don't know, I, I just, um, not that, um, I don't know, it's, it's, um, it's kind of a, it's kind, of a kind of a tough thing, kind of a tough what it is, I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not really tripping, but, um, yeah. um, I've got a couple, you know, I've got a couple of side businesses, uh, that are, that are doing very, very well for me, actually, and, um, and so, uh, like I said, I'm not gonna, I'm never gonna stop being Donovan Sharp. I'm still going to, you know, I'm still gonna, I'm still gonna do live streams. I'm still gonna do, you know, breakdowns. Um, but um, as far as books and courses and, and all that good yes. stuff, I'm probably just gonna, I'm probably just gonna stop. There's uh, nobody buying. And the reason for this, uh, the, the, um, uh, the reason for, uh, the reason I'm doing this is because I've been, I mean, I've been suppressed by the algorithm forever. Um, Devin no, Tech's husband been monetized. He's not suppressed by oh, you got the monetized? You're not suppressed by nothing, dude. You've been banned a bunch of times. You're on this account and it's gonna get banned eventually too. You can't just make a new account because you got banned before. And make a new account and do the same thing. Exactly. And you're not falling off because the algorithm's suppressed. You're falling off because you trash. Nobody <laughs> knows you. Your fan base sees you as a fraud. It's okay. You know, he says like, I made the decision to quit. You didn't make no goddamn decision. The audience made it for you. Mm. They're not tuning in. They're not buying your books. They're not watching your shit. If you get banned on one platform, it's not the end of your career. You can go to other ones. You can go to Twitch. You can go to Rumble. There's a reason why they didn't follow you there. It's because you <clears> suck. <throat> That's it. You ain't got nothing that nobody want to buy. You didn't make no choice the market chose for you. Just want to make that clear. It's like somebody who goes in, goes up and grunts a girl. Hey, hey you want to get with me? No, bitch. Well, fuck you, then. I don't want you anyways. Okay, cool story. You was rejected. It's okay. I made the choice not to You didn't break up with nobody. <laughs> you was never in a relationship. Motherfuckers didn't watch you. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> you know what? That Devin's ex-husband, Brian, his just he's just been all over the channel. I mean, you guys remember Anthony Johnson got... <laughs> Who these people? Five or six times. I'm just... To be quite honest with you guys, it's... 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 Um, it's... it's get, it really is... It really is getting to the point to where... Um... It's just it's it's just a labor of love at this point, you know. Um, I'm not going to. Oh my god! I'm not gonna, Did it? Oh. I mean, I'm never gonna crack 173,000 subscribers. I've been I've been 173,000 subscribers forever, guys. I'm not getting to 174. I'm not getting to 200. I'm not getting to 250. Um, you know, um, I don't. I mean, I mean, I've tried literally everything. I've tried everything, guys. I've tried change up the content. I've tried this. I've tried that, and it's just it just hasn't it just hasn't worked. You try being yourself. Mm, that's the word. Turns out people don't want to watch this weird persona of yours where you pretend to be something that you're not. Mm. Have you tried being yourself? Mm. Maybe people might actually like you for you. The person you've been trying to hide that your audience actually sees you for, stop hiding it. Just be yourself. Own up to the fact that you married a single mom. Own up to the fact that you was lying about your past. Own up to the fact that you was never friends with Kevin Samuel and you were a piece of shit. Own up to all the bad things you did. And that's content I would watch. Mm. I would be curious to see why a career criminal at 35 years old really got played by an 18 year old. Why were you that pathetic? Why are you pretending to be something else right now? Why are you pretending like you changed what everybody sees you can't? You know, look, I, I keep playing this video. It's going to be him just moping around being super sad. Mm, sure. You know, do we want to dance on this grave? Absolutely. Do you want to do it? Well, you, I'm not dancing. You don't even want to do it? No. no. You mean you can do it, though? <laughs> no, I don't care. Oh, no, 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 I really don't care. I mean, he was never really there in the first place. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. The biggest thing he did was the doxing, and that was a fraud. That was not real, so. That pissed you off, though. It pissed me off because they put him, my, my friend in a bad situation. Yeah. Now, my friend that has nothing to do with that gets brought up. Gets yeah, brought up and then motherfuckers are writing her, dropping the M and insulting her. She has nothing to do with that. Yeah, it pissed yeah. me off because she has nothing to do with that shit. Okay, all right, so you do feel some type of way about this. About what, with that? Yeah. But, what he did. but with him, the rest of it, I'm like, yeah. yeah. Whatever, it's all sad and pathetic and it's a fraud. But what he did there was like, yo, dude, yeah. 
it's what I was like. That's pure American that don't speak uh, another language and really make their own assumption and then bring a whole other part person did. Of course, it was popped up. But now my friend comes up and he's like, yo, what's all these messages I'm receiving? You know? And I got it to it's yeah, my bad. And when it's not really my bad. It's, you didn't do anything. It's just some idiot that just... Yeah. I mean, trying to put one and one together but can't do mathematics. <laughs> one plus one, 21. Why now I have to 21. I, I think a lot of these guys, they do so well for themselves that they just learn to be themselves. But they're so busy putting on a persona for their fan base or for an audience they're trying to appeal to that... One, you realize over time there's just incongruity to who they actually are and what they're putting out there. And then two... The thing that they're trying to portray isn't even good for an audience. So it's just like, do I care that this guy lost everything? No, because he didn't care that he was selling dudes on a pipe dream that's not sustainable. All the advice he was doing was making sure that men were not going to stay in relationships. All the advice he was giving was making sure that dudes were going to have unrealistic expectations and treat people like shit. So do I care that a shitty-ass person has shitty-ass end result? No. It's not like he was teaching people how to bake cookies or whatever. No. He was telling you how to treat your girl like a dog. How to treat your girl like she was a possession, and how to be as manipulative and as controlling as possible. So, I don't really give a fuck. No. All these people like Adler show breaks. Uh, <clears throat> nah. No, nah, nah. I'm, I'm gonna laugh to the bank. I'm gonna laugh at you, and then I'm gonna tell everybody else why they probably should listen to this kind of garbage because it's not good for them. And again, I can say this for a fact: it never ceases to amaze me how many of these guys who do all this alpha male, red pill, I can teach you the world, never live any of the lives they claim. Uh, Every time you see behind the curtain, and sometimes it's like they do the opposite. Hey, nigga, be straight. They suck a dick. Hey, guys, oh. don't stay there. <laughs> they got three kids from another woman, and the, it's crazy. It never My ceases to be. So, never do this and that, and they doing exactly this and that. Wait, what was the situation? So, I forgot, you know, but his lifestyle contradicted. Oh, yeah, it was the, the, the Asian girl he was talking to, and it was another chick before that as well. He got exposed a couple times for not practicing what he preaches. If Donovan really wants to ride his channel, it's super easy. Be yourself. Be honest. Do a video of why you were such a fraud for so long, but you can't because your ego's there. I think that would be super interesting content. Talk about what your relationship is actually like. What is the value of dating a woman with a kid? If there are any, why did you accept it? You know? People will tune in. I promise you that. They might not subscribe at first, but you might actually start to reel in an audience that likes you for you because, honestly, you sound miserable. You've been sounding miserable, and it's because no one's buying yet. So... That's my advice to anybody watching, okay? Do not come on these platforms trying to pretend to be something you're not. All right? I have, I have to say, Donovan Sharp would be a great WWE character. Someone that everybody hates, he would be a great character at that. Yep. And I'm not even so clowning or whatever or not. He would fit that universe. If he would get fit to be like a person that everybody hates and everybody boos at, it would be it would be amazing. It would add something, but he's not. He's trying to make it like if it's real. It's exactly like someone that tries to be in the WWE and trying to make it real. We know Undertaker is not real. This, we know it's not real. I think the very reason why he failed is why a lot of attacks or you know comments that people make against us don't really work. It's like we're very comfortable with ourselves. Like, what we present to you guys is what it is. People are like, oh, I can preach. You guys are gay because you guys dance with ladies, or you guys do this, and it never bothers me. Why? Because <laughs> like, like, yeah, sure, I'm sure. gay for dancing with women. All right. You can't insult someone that the, you, what you're insulting them with is not an insult to them. Yeah, you can't insult okay, them. Okay. You know, if you were caught me when I was 13, sure, that works. That's yeah, right, because I was not comfortable with myself, but I'm good with it now. And I don't really care what grown men think about my level of sexuality because I'm not trying to. F- and so who cares? It doesn't matter. You know, like every man, guy, every man on this planet can wake up tomorrow and say, "I have a nigga, you gay." And you know, it's like, okay, cool. <laughs> I'm not trying to. Yeah, so I'm like, don't even <laughs> matter to me. Like, uh, that's why I never understood, right? But you see, other men they get really bothered. Why? Because they're not actually comfortable with their sexuality and they haven't figured their shit out, right? Mm. The same with this guy. He's not comfortable with his relationship situation. He's ashamed, right? And there are people are using that shame against him. It is not. I'm not going to knock anyone for dating a woman who has a child. He does. That's why he hides it. That's why he lies about it all the time. That's, and that's why his channel fades. Because it's like, it's honest, like, wait, you've been lying, bro. I can't take you seriously. Own your stuff, people. Whatever it is, you're gay, you're trans, you're into single women, you're into whatever it is. I don't really you're care. Single women. <laughs> Let the audience that likes you, like you. I think he's been a single mom, but yeah, that's what it means. It's a single mom. And it doesn't work because people are perceptive enough. You might be able to fool some people sometimes, but you can't fool all the people all the time. That's a word. <laughs> Alright, for real. Give it to me. But you can't fool everybody. Alright, Timothy, my buddy. I'm like, you said that shit. like, yo, wait, wait. Why does my body have muscle memory right there? Get up, stand up. Yeah. Stand up for your right boo. I said, yeah, they're gonna get up, stand up. Don't give up the hype, yeah. <laughs> doom, 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 you might fool people sometimes, but you can't fool all the people all the time. Yeah, sorry about that. That's a bar. I, I, I haven't heard that song. It's got to be 12, 15 years. That's the one. If you play the song too, I'll be able to sing the whole thing. Yeah. But anyways, all this to say, just, just, just be yourselves, guys. And I know this might be hard, and I know for me in my younger years, it definitely felt hard. When I wasn't comfortable with myself, I think that's when I was my most violent. I think that's when I was my most addictive, when I was my most angry. Then, As you get more comfortable, it's like none of this stuff matters. 
Right. Because people are trying to apply their paradigm to you. It's like, I'm already solid in. Just, just, uh, if you guys are watching, if you guys can take away anything that's other than just laughing at this goofball, be yourselves. Okay? That's it. Love the message. Damn, the red pill community is crumbling. To be fair, I don't know this guy. I mean, I definitely remember his face because I remember him and that white lady. And <laughs> they were doing like little skits together. I remember to some video that I discussed it. Maybe it was Albert and Preacher's video. I'm not sure. But I remember cringing back then and it's still cringy now. But yeah, red, red pill space thing ain't doing too well, it looks like. Uh, but anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you've been watching. I'll see y'all the next one. Bye.